ChatGPT just launched Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro, which are by far the best video models available on the internet right now, but they do have a big problem. One, up until recently, they were only available on iOS apps and you need an invite in order to actually get access. But by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a way that you could bypass all of that, access the app instantly right now, and I'm gonna show you a new prompting guide that they just released that shows you exactly how to make viral videos using this tool. Okay, so like I was alluding to before, they kind of made it really hard in order to access Sora. In the past, with the old Sora, and not Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro, you'd be able to just come over to ChatGPT right here and you would see Sora up here. In addition to that, you would be able to come over here and choose video and you would actually be able to create videos. But now, they completely change that with Sora 2 and quite frankly, I don't know why they released it like this. If we come over here, we could click on download the Sora app, but you're gonna see that this app is only available on the App Store for iPhone. In addition to that, if we actually come over to Sora right here, because I did get access to it, if we come over, the only way that you will be able to get access to this is if you come over here and find somebody with an invite. Now, as you can see, you only get four invites, so it's really hard to actually get one, but there is a workaround for this that's going to allow you to access Sora immediately, and you can also access Sora 2. That workaround that I'm talking about is using Abacus AI and this tool right here is absolutely insane because it will allow you to access every single LLM, every single model that exists, in addition to that, all of their different functionality. So if you sign up for Abacus, you come over here to more, you click on video generation, what you're gonna notice is you can actually come over here and you can access every single video model that exists. You can use Sora 2, you can use Video 3. If you're using Sora 2, you can even come down down here and you can change to use Sora 2 Pro if you wanted to. In addition to that, as we could see, if we cancel this out really quickly and we come back over into more and we do something like lip sync, you'll be able to see all the different lip sync models in addition to that. Also, if we come over to image, you'll be able to see all the different image models. So this literally allows you to access all of these image, all of these video generation models, all from one place and every single LLM. So if we come over into more right here, we click on video, we have Sora 2 here, you could see that we could prompt this right here. And one other huge thing that I like is this right here, modify the input prompt for improved video generation results. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say, make a cat steal a fish from PetSmart, and then have the cops and people chase it out. So I'm gonna add this modification right here. I'm gonna do this right now in standard mode. We could see that we could change the duration of this to be four, eight, and 12 seconds. Now remember, in a little bit, I'm gonna show you what actually the best settings are in order to make viral videos with this because ChatGPT actually did release that and I think it's going to surprise you. But for the sake of this, we're going to click on four seconds. For resolution, we could come over here and change this if we wanted to, but I'm gonna click on generate right here and then this is what actually happens. This goes through, this accesses Sora 2, and this allows us to actually generate a video here. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is still going through and creating this video, but quickly, I did wanna show you this other thing that you get access to. So if we come over here into tools, we could see create images, and we could describe on Gemini what we want to create. For example, create an image of me as a superhero. Now this is gonna go through and do that so long as I actually upload a selfie here. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna come into my files, I'm gonna grab a headshot right here, and then I am actually gonna upload this in here, and it is going to turn me into a superhero right here. Now, I could also do this same exact thing inside of this using the same exact model, but with a few added on improvements. So if we come over here and we click on image, you could see that I could choose Nano Banana right here and I could choose how many images this actually creates. So if we just use regular Gemini, this only goes through and creates one image, but guess what? I can come over here. I could say that I want this to make four images. I'm gonna upload this image in here again. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in headshot. We're gonna do the same exact thing on here that we just did over in regular Nano Banana and we are even going to grab the same exact prompt. So I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna say this, boom, 
bring this over here. We're gonna click on generate and now this will go through and actually create four images for me instead of just creating one. And what this does is allows you to be way more creative in a way faster time than just using Gemini. Now, while we wait for this to generate, I wanted to come over here and show you what this video looks like that Sora 2 actually went through and created. So we're gonna open this up in full screen and then check this out. This is the cat stealing a fish from PetSmart. So as you can see, that's pretty amazing. It even has the cat running into somebody. So it's got the cat, it's got the bag, it's running away, which is pretty nuts. And again, these videos are going viral all over the internet. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. In fact, you might not have even realized that a lot of the videos that you're seeing now on social media aren't even real. And then if we come back over here to Nano Banana, we could see that again, this generated four images of me instead of using just regular Gemini that only created one. Now, before I walk you through exactly how you should be crafting your prompts in order to actually make viral videos with Sora, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below to get started with Chat LLM today so that you can access both Sora and Sora 2 Pro without an invite or without the iOS app. Because without having two of those things, you're not gonna be able to access this and that just closes this down to a lot of people that should be able to use this technology because it's the best video AI tool that's ever existed and it's helping so many people go viral all across social media. Now, in addition to getting access to Sora, you're also gonna get access to every single LLM, you get access to Nano Banana, and pretty much every AI tool that exists. In addition to that, you get access to Deep Agent that allows you to build out AI agents that can help you automate your work or any tasks that you want 24 seven. Again, this is a no brainer to get started with, just go to the pinned comment below. Okay, so there are a lot of things inside this Sword 2 Prompting Guide that really surprised me. So we can see that this is a guide on crafting a successful video prompt with Sora. Now, a few things that I did want to call out here. If we scroll down a little bit, you are going to see video length right here. I thought it was odd that they address this so early in the prompting guide, but if we look at this, you will read that the model generally follows instructions more reliably with short clips. So for the best results, you should aim for four second videos. So this literally says, instead of generating a single eight second clip, you should make two four second clips if you want to have hyper control over what actually gets created. I found this to be very interesting because again, you can make eight second videos, you can make 12 second videos, but there are even some tools that let you make longer videos, but it actually shows in the prompting guide that shorter videos are what work best and will yield you the best results. In addition to that, they go through prompting anatomy right here. So we can see right here a few different rules. First, shorter prompts give the model more creative freedom, so you will have more surprising results. If you give a longer, more detailed prompt, it's going to restrict the model's creativity, but it's going to follow your guidance better. So essentially what this is saying are that longer prompts are going to be better, and then it gives us a actual prompt right here so that we could try this out. I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to come over here. I'm gonna open up a new chat and I'm gonna put it in here so that we could easily see it. So this is an example of a short prompt. In a 90s documentary style interview, an old Swedish man sits in a study and says, I still remember when I was young. So if we come back over to the prompting guide, we will see that this prompt will work well for these three things. And then it goes through and actually outlines what an ultra detailed or a longer prompt should look like. If we come over here and then type this in, we're going to see that this right here is way more detailed, this is way longer, and this gives you a lot more background into what Sora actually wants to see. So it wants to see the format and look. It wants to see the lens infiltration. It wants to see the grade and palette. It wants to see the lighting and atmosphere. It wants to see the location and framing. It wants to see the wardrobe, props, and extras. And then in addition to that, it wants to know more about the sound, more about the optimized shot list, and the camera notes. And then on top of that, finishing, and that's about it. 
So there are literally like seven or eight different segments and different features that need to be added in here. And again, this really surprised me because I didn't think that you needed to prompt Sora in such a long way. And think about this. This is literally just for a four second video. This is the type of detail that you need to be bringing into this if you want this to actually give you really good responses. In addition to that, a few other things that I thought were pretty interesting were that you need to give it visual cues in order to actually steer the look. And then it goes through and shows you what a weak visual cue looks like and what a strong visual cue looks like. In addition to that, control the motion and timing. So basically, you can control everything about a video with this. You can choose the visual cues, the motion and timing, the lighting and color consistency. And on top of that, this right here brings up a really good point. So if you want to have really large control over something, you shouldn't just be prompting it to actually make something. You should be giving it a image and then prompting it about what the image should actually be doing. In addition to that, if we come down here, they also give us some really good feedback into how to actually regenerate things. So let's say that we have this original video right here and we wanted to change this person to orange. The best way to do that would be using the remix feature not to actually go through and try to develop a prompt in order to make him arch. So what this is telling me is that using the remix feature is a way easier way to change things, that you need to make sure that you're focused on shorter content and that you need to make your prompts way longer than you're probably making them right now. In addition to that, at the bottom of this, they do give you a bunch of different prompt templates and examples for how the structure should actually look, which I think is incredibly helpful here. Now. I'm gonna put the link to this in the description of this video. I think that it's really important that you check this out. And something that I think would be really cool is if you actually come over here and you could do this in Deep Agent, you can come over here and you can get this to create a chat bot for you. So if you click on chat bot right here, guess what you can do? You could actually upload the SOAR prompting guide into this chat bot and then it will make a chat bot for you, which you'll then be able to access from chat LOM, and if you come over here into custom bots, you will be able to see exactly what this looks like. You'll be able to click into this, and then what this will actually create is a Sora 2 or Sora 2 Pro prompting guide that you say, hey, I want this right here, and it spits out exactly what the ideal prompt should look like in order to get the desired result that you want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through using a brand new AI agent that you can set up to work for you 24 seven. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.